A new study might give parents hope for helping kids be more physically active. Obesity more than doubled in children between 1980 and 2012. The CDC calls it an epidemic. But what if video games, yeah, video games, could actually help kids lose weight? Jamie Wax is at a Dave and Buster's Arcade in New York's Times Square with how to get a healthy score. Hey, Jamie, good morning. Good morning. If you're a parent, you know kids are crazy about playing games like this one at arcades like here at Dave and Buster's and at home. And a new study suggests that video games, that's right, video games can play a big role in children's health. Go, Jerry. Go, Jerry. Jerry Walker is a dancing machine. But it's not all fun and games. There's a mission behind this 12-year-old's moves. What has all of this taught you about your health? that I should really get in shape. I'm like, oh yes, I'm so ready to get in shape. I will get in shape. Jerry's collecting points for accurate steps, but researchers are collecting more vital information. It's part of a study to see whether video games can actually help him lose weight. Jerry, how did you feel when your mom told you about this study? I was very excited. Researchers purchased Xboxes, then asked Jerry and other kids like him to play for one hour, three nights a week. After six months, they'll measure his weight, blood pressure, and cholesterol. For support, kids have to play with a family member. Jerry chose his mom, Marissa. Do you worry about Jerry's health? Yes, I do. Not only do I worry about his health, I worry about mine. I think parents should take a moment to ask their children, what do you get excited about? And if it seems like the child's interested in video games, then give one of these active video games a try. I'm mostly interested in Dr. Amanda Stiano so developed the video game study at Louisiana State University's so Pennington that. Biomedical so Center. Area. I don't think we should ever replace outdoor activity with these indoor options, but we should also recognize that we've got to provide alternatives for kids, especially during that after school time when many of them may be alone. That's when kids are spending more time in front of a screen. More than 60% of kids between 8 and 18 years old play video games for over an hour every day. The government recommends that young people get an hour of daily physical activity, yet only 27% meet that goal. What makes obesity particularly problematic for children? Well, the problem is, is that when you become obese as a child, you really set yourself up for the rest of your life. Dr. Diane Hess is a pediatrician specializing in childhood obesity. What I see in my practice is that my patients are extremely sedentary and I do anything I can. I try to be so creative to figure out how can I get you to move it. Two years ago, Pennington researchers conducted their first game experiment with 41 overweight girls between the ages of 14 and 18 years old. They found that participants increased bone density, lost body fat, and improved their self-confidence. One thing that's the most important thing is the self-esteem. So I think that the fact that they completed it and they felt good about themselves, I think that's probably the best benefit of all. <laughs> In this second study, funded by the American Heart Association, kids will play at home, but check in with coaches like these every week. I'd love to change how children view physical activity or healthy diets. Working out shouldn't be a burden or a challenge for people. It should just be part of people's daily lives. For Jerry, that just means more dancing. Do you feel like this has changed your life? Yes. It's really helping me because I'm starting to lose weight and I'm also having fun with losing weight. You don't have to like, try to keep up with it. Sometimes you get tired, but you just got to keep on going. Now for this second study, researchers will check in with the kids after six months to make sure they're still moving and still losing weight. I'm going to challenge Angel here to Dance Dance Revolution, but for my own embarrassment level, the revolution will not be televised. Nora? Oh, come on. We want to see it. I love Just Dance. We play that with my oh, yeah. kids. Anything to get everybody moving. I think the idea of games and technology being able to either initiate or reinforce good positive conduct is yeah. great. All good. Yeah. Absolutely. Well said. Jamie, thank you.